Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar once again in Red Dead Redemption. So we last episode we had to rescue Bonnie and take out a bunch of bandits and now we're back in town. So let's uh, continue on the venture this episode and see what we can see. What's wrong lady? You okay lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink, nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. Oh, oh my God. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm with a family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> okay, so back off into the hills location up here. Do that. It looks like we have we still got the flowers to do, so we will be working on that at some point. Let's see, I want to go ahead and grab this over here. Oh, the gunsmith has some more weapons. I don't want to do that. Got too close, so and I guess I we'll do this. I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to okay. kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can. John, a more convincing Othello there has never been, and so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John, the flourish, the bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to 
Oliver and Ben. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the big public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So, it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future! You'd best be a man of your word. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant. Okay, let's fall around on foot. Oh, yeah, you're oh, on here. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures. Headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could... Prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right! Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. I thought we were 
was here to see Mary. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir. Look out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Look at it! The tonic is coursing through his veins! Now I'm angry! Can you believe your eyes? All right, let's finish this! There it is! Out. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there. Let's go get this him. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun! Look out, Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. <laughs> well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Okay. Well, I still have to... make our way to this guy over here so we'll do that real quick that shouldn't take too long once a horse gets over here come on baby get over here thank you whoa come on oh come ding dong crazy horse Sir, what are you doing way out Let's here? Go. Coming through. Pony Express coming Come through. Make way. Man on a mission. Deputy, or is he the sheriff? Come on! My horse just got rushed. Came from under me. 
Oh, the horse is over that way, huh? Come on, horse. Hey, stay with me. Come on, we're going to get you here. following the red angle. Okay, there you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, where's my money? Let's go! I know what else I want to do. You broke this on yourself, partner. Yeah, yeah. You can just go lay back down. Out of the way! Excuse me, sir. Well, protecting yourself, it's the Hi there. You surely won't regret a purchase. Go ahead and buy that one. Hi. That'll be all. Thanks. Well, look. And more bullets for that, though. Hey, get back here. I want I need to buy some ammo. Hey. Hello there. We got the second amendment for a reason, don't we? Nice doing business. I think that's everything. That's okay. all I need for now. Get that new telegraph stick. Come on. Okay, let's go find this guy. Get this bounty taken care of. Oh, 
this isn't the bounty. I didn't have the bounty. No, this is just. Where whoever is passed away out here. Uh, oh, 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 mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That didn't work. Interesting. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if that quest resets. Yeah. We'll go ahead and head off to a yes here. Cross country. Who needs roads? Come out to this church. We've been out this way before. Or did come back and talk to this lady. She's yawn now. to the preacher man see what he has to say okay he's not much of a preacher he's a grave robber excuse me are you seth who are you i'm a friend of mr west dickens my name is marston john marston goodbye john marston it's been a great pleasure i need your help seth we Need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look. Scrambling around. Looking for maps. Half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out. My mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. <laughs> Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? 
I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> He's mine. He's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Let's go. Hmm. So jump in the Come shower on, first. Come on, man, partner. Master! Come on. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. He's a little nuts. Have uh, you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth? I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers want. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Yeah! Okay. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good readers to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. There's no difference between night and day, just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. Whoa! All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Okay, as far let's as get I a plan know, together. Being held in that shack. See what There's we can a get done. Deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. So why is the deputies got him covered? Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Uh, 
This is one god awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Stay away from them animals! <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. We'll head on back to Seth and return back, hopefully in uh, good shape. We shall see. around this way here can't can't ride up over the cliff but just come right back over here So did he tell you? Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! Get away from me! Just leave me alone! Son of a bitch! Sense lying to you, mister! Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Yeah, yeah, sure it was. Sell his own mother. Best. Just name your price. You son of a bitch, let me go. You must be stupid trusting that crazy. Bastard. I may be, but hey, Moses, somebody's got to. Bitch. Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. 
Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. <laughs> that he did. Yep, that he did. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. No, we don't. I don't have no, no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on. Ain't no time to be wasting. Twenty dollar bounty. Hello there. Last night at Drunken Rug. Here, I've been given a pardon. Master, I hope you stay out of trouble now. Let's hope we meet again. So, Mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, Mister. And. There we go. Another adventure successfully completed. We had a few hiccups out throughout, but overall we did pretty good. Um, now we just have left uh, worrying about Westwood. We do have a, a funny man here we can talk to next time. And we got to get flowers and stuff, so we'll start working on some of that, but we'll probably come back over and talk to Nigel. And see what we can see with him. But like always, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. If you did, give me a like button to let me know. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.